Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. In this video, we'll be having a look at the Logitech K400 Plus. This is the successor to the K400, which was the older model, and they have made some improvements and some changes to this wireless keyboard, and uh, which includes a mouse pad also. So let's uh, quickly open the box. As you can see, this is the front of the box and the back of the box. On the back of the box, it says all-in-one keyboard, mouse. 10 meters of range and uh, familiar media keys, plug and play and 18 months of battery. So that's a really good thing. And the MRP return is over here but I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it for the best price. So let's open it up. Let's take out the keyboard and the wireless receiver, the nano receiver is over here. It's very similar to the old one. So there is some documentation, nothing much. So let me keep this aside. So this is what the keyboard mouse looks like. So it's a very standard uh, keyboard. Uh, the, all the keys are present here. You have the shift key which is the normal size. The arrow keys are a little small over here. Your touchpad is over here, the feel is pretty good. You have some media keys. And the right click and the left click. Click feeling is good enough. And even the key typing is pretty satisfactory you have the right click button over here also and what you can do is just uh, you know use your mouse over here and right click from here so that makes it very convenient you can also use these so on the back you have the model number written over here and there's the battery compartment so it takes two AA batteries you need to pull this out to make it work. So you can store your nano receiver over here. And take it with you when you're traveling. You have rubber feet over here so that it does not slip on your desk. And also there's an on off button over here. So let's quickly compare it to the older version which I have over here which I use regularly. And uh, it's been about two years since I'm using this. So you can see it's pretty similar in size to the old model. I think the key travel is more on this one compared to this. I'll just show you. The button click is better on the new version. I can feel it. So in the old version you had a notch here to switch it on and off. Whereas the new one is just you gotta push it. So this is also bigger in size, the button. So comparing with the old one, you have some media keys over here, but in the new one, they have replaced it with the F keys to, form, uh, to perform the same functions. And volume up and volume down and mute button have been shifted over here. I think that's a better design choice because uh, these are the most frequent keys that I also use. And these keys not really that much, like back key, home key, and you know hide key, the media player key, fast fast forward, play pause. I don't really use this. Probably I use the switch on switch off function quite a lot, but you have it right over here. So if you press the function key, then it works as a normal F key, and uh, directly if you press, it's going to work as the media keys. You have the. Uh, Logitech options software available on their website. If you download that, you can change some of the keys uh, function. Like if you switch off, uh, for instance, you can make the F keys function directly and you need to press the function key to make the media keys work. So you can swap it. Pinch to zoom and uh, scrolling works by default, but again in the Logitech software, you can uh, customize it to your liking, you can reverse it, reverse the direction of the scroll and all that. So that is also something you can try out. 
the right click button is much bigger on the new one also the right click on the mouse pad are of equal size in the new version whereas in the older one it was a little bigger than the left click the older version also had these pat uh, this pattern on the mouse pad whereas this one the new one has a yellow bar which tells you that uh, what is the extent of the trackpad so guys this is uh, all that is there to talk about it i have tested it uh, and the range is pretty good it's almost equal to the old version they both function equally the the nano receiver again with the logitech software can be used to pair up to six devices to it so not only this in your living room suppose you have a home theater pc plug this into it and this will pair to it and then if you have an extra mouse you can pair that also to the same receiver so you don't need to occupy any other port on your htpc and like that there are six receivers that you can pair to one nano receiver of logitech so that's uni it's called a unifying receiver so that's a really good feature that you can use so overall i like the new version more definitely it's an upgrade from the older one it's pretty dirty as you can see the rubber feet on the older one were bigger than the new version i think the new version is slightly lighter also so that will also help you carry it around of keeping it on your lap so thanks for watching this video guys i'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this please use that if you want to support the channel and uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below i'll try to answer it as soon as possible and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye